Hello everyone. First and foremost, I want to apologize for the unexpected absence over the past month and a half. Life has thrown some challenging circumstances my way, and I appreciate your understanding and patience. During this time, I went on vacation. Unfortunately, my father's health deteriorated while I was gone. He was put on hospice care, and eventually he passed away. Additionally, I have been dealing with some vocal strain, which made it difficult for me to record new videos. But now I am back, ready to continue creating more amazing DIYs for all of you. I want to thank you for your support and understanding during this tough period. It means the world to me, and I'm grateful for each and every one of you. Please let me know in the comments what you think of this voice over. I have utilized an AI program to give my voice more time to heal, and I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Enough about me, let's get to DIYing. For this project, I used five of these wooden blocks that I picked up at five and below. They're surprisingly similar in size to Jenga blocks, and I can't wait to transform them into something truly patriotic and special. So, let's dive right in. I started by giving each of the blocks a fresh coat of acrylic paint, creating the iconic flag design. Making sure the stripes are evenly spaced was simple using the blocks. For the next step, I'll be using this incredible weld bond glue. Trust me, this stuff is fantastic. It provides a strong bond and dries completely clear ensuring that our wooden blocks stay firmly attached. I'm carefully applying the weld bond glue to the edges of each block and then joining them together. Now, we have to be patient and let the glue work its magic. It's essential to allow enough drying time, ensuring a strong and durable bond. I allowed about 30 minutes before moving on. Using my trusty Cricut machine, I cut out several stars and applied them to the blue section of the wooden flag, adding that extra touch of authenticity. I press the stars into the indention where the blocks are glued together and used an X-Acto knife to cut and trim them. I think doing this looks better than the stars just laying across the indention, but the choice is yours. And there you have it, my fellow patriots, an incredible wooden flag crafted from five and below wood blocks. This project showcases the power of creativity and DIY spirit. I hope it inspires you to get crafty and express your patriotism in your own unique way. For this project, I started by using a small square wooden board that had a delicate frame. To give it a clean and crisp look, I painted the board with white acrylic paint while the frame received a coat of white ash stain. The next step was to use my Cricut to cut out the letters for the word home, which I planned to put on the board. However, I decided to add a creative twist by replacing the letter O with a beautiful fireworks design. Unfortunately, I overlooked the fact that the sign would be white, which caused the letter M to not show up. But, being the perfectionist that I am, I made some changes to the design and corrected the issue. You'll see what I did at the end. Finally, I applied the firework stencil in place of the letter O and used a makeup sponge to dab red and blue acrylic paint onto the stencil.
The end result was stunning. I couldn't be happier with how it turned out. Would you have done it another way? Let me know in the comments. For this patriotic project, I cut out a USA shape and the word America with my laser. I then used paint markers to paint them both. I used some Dollar Tree beads and also painted them red and blue. I left some of the beads the natural color. I then glued the word onto the USA cutout using weld bond glue and a toothpick. I also used the toothpick to remove the glue which seeped out from under the word. I placed some painter's tape at the end of some twine and threaded my beads in a red, white, and blue design. To attach the tag at the end, I passed the twine through the hole at the top. Tied a knot to hold it together. And trim the twine from the knot. I created a small tassel at the other end by wrapping the twine around my fingers a few times. And then used more twine to secure the top of the tassel. I cut the twine at the bottom to create the tassel. And then wrap more around the top and hot glued it into place. I untwisted the twine to create a fuller tassel. And look at how charming and patriotic this garland is. The garland looks great on my tear tray, but it could also be used on a shelf or table. Be sure to use your creativity and create something amazing today. For this patriotic decor piece, I started with a rectangular sign that I found at Michael's. It had the perfect size and shape for what I had in mind. To give the frame a natural look with a touch of color, I decided to use a white ash water based stain. This stain can be found in my Amazon store and it worked wonders in enhancing the wood's beauty while still maintaining a patriotic feel. After applying the stain to the frame, I let it dry thoroughly. It's important to be patient at this stage to ensure the stain sets properly. Meanwhile, I focused on the inside of the sign. I chose to paint it with white acrylic paint to create a clean and crisp background. And of course, I lost the footage of me painting it while waiting for the paint and stain to dry completely. I used my Cricut machine and cut out a file from design bundles. For this project, I decided to cut out three popsicle shapes from red and blue vinyl. These popsicles would serve as the centerpiece of the decoration, adding a playful touch to the patriotic theme. Once the paint and stain were fully dry, it was time to assemble everything together. I carefully placed the popsicle shapes onto the painted background, arranging them in a stars and stripes pattern. The popsicle stood out beautifully against the white backdrop, creating a striking contrast.
I stepped back and admired the end result. The combination of the stained wooden frame, the crisp white background, and the vibrant popsicle shapes created a charming patriotic decoration that would surely catch anyone's attention. It was a simple and fun project that added a touch of patriotism to my home decor. Check out this amazing patriotic decor piece I cut out using my laser. I'm not going to bore you with the cutting and the paint of this piece, but I did want to show how I put it together and the end result. For this piece, I used E6000 repositionable glue, which I really like for projects like this. I applied it to the back of the largest piece and spread it out with a toothpick and positioned it onto the backer board. I then did the same thing with the second piece. I then attached the star pattern in the corner. and added a few of the single pieces. I applied glue to the back of the USA section and positioned it up perfectly with the rest. I had a few places where the glue seeped out of the edges and simply removed it with a baby wipe and a toothpick. I attached the frame around the edge. And finally the words, I used painter's tape to hold everything in place until the glue was dry. I'm not really happy with the paint pens I use. I thought I would like to see the wood grain. I'm going to redo the project and use a better quality paint pen to see if I like it better. I'll show you both at the end. I cut out a smaller version of the file so it would fit on my tear tray and use different paint pens on it. I think it turned out so much nicer than the first one. Let me know which you like the most in the comments. If you would like to create this project for your own decor, check out the link in the description. For this patriotic project, I started with a small wooden circle and some white acrylic paint. First, I painted the circle with a smooth layer of white paint. This gives it a clean and fresh base for the upcoming steps. Next, I wanted to give it a vintage weathered look. So I grabbed some sandpaper and lightly sanded the edges and surface of the wooden round. This added a charming rustic touch and makes it look like it has been around for ages. Now it's time to add some design elements. For this, I used my trusty Cricut machine to create a custom stencil. I carefully applied the stencil onto the wooden round, making sure it was perfectly positioned. I applied a thin coat of Mod Podge on top of the stencil so I could get smooth, clean lines. Now comes the fun part. Using a makeup sponge, I added some vibrant colors over the stencil. I wanted my round sign to be cute and eye-catching for my patriotic tear tray. I 
I couldn't resist adding a patriotic saying to the empty space to give it that extra special touch. I must say, I'm absolutely thrilled with how it turned out. The combination of the vintage weathered look, the colorful design, and the heartfelt saying makes it a standout piece on my patriotic tray. Now I would love to hear your thoughts. What creative ideas do you have for sprucing up your tear trays? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more inspiring projects like this one. Thanks for joining me today, and until next time, keep crafting and stay inspired. Let's wrap up this video by showing some love. Don't forget to leave a like and drop a comment below. Your engagement is incredibly valuable to me, as it helps my channel reach more people just like you. Keep on crafting! And I'll see you in the next one.